Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna learn how to start from an empty project, empty scene, to something like that. So we're just gonna learn to <laughs> import pretty much anything from the asset store so we can get prototyping real fast. Let's get started. Alright, so make sure you have Unity open, any kind of project, and then head over to unity3d.com. In here, you are going to hit Asset Store. And then you will have to sign in using the same account you're signing in with Unity. Okay, so for the sake of this example, I am going to look for assets that are going to help me create some kind of little village with roads that I can move my uh, vehicle in. So let's go ahead and hit the search button up here, and then I can type in road. Also, you have some filters, so in case you don't want to necessarily look for uh, a specific keywords, you can simply go say in 3D models environment for this matter I think or say yeah, racetracks and road there we go then once you have those uh, result you can sort them by price by name by rating I'm going to sort them by price because I am going to take something that is free and in the road section there doesn't seem to be anything that is free so I'll go back in here search for road and now I don't have the option to sort them but as you can see there's like this one this one is free I go check him out and once you have your asset selected in the website you can just keep scrolling down here and you'll see pretty much everything you can see the material the PNGs and uh, that's pretty much it for the assets I'm not gonna be using this one because I actually looked up a few um, asset package before the video started so I'm gonna be using this simple modular street kit and also some more uh, assets, random assets such as mushroom land which is also free and some free ground materials. So once you've chosen which assets you wish to import or buy you're going to go here and hit open in Unity which will launch a, another protocol you hit yes and Unity is going to connect itself to the asset store. As you can see it is now part of a window I think you can get it here as well asset store so control 9 if you want to open it directly and then it's going to open inside of unity now this one didn't work quite well I'm gonna hit open unity again and as you can see we have the same exact page that we had in the browser now you hit download and it's simply going to start the download process inside of your unity once the import is complete, you will have this little window popping up, the import package window, and then you choose what you want to import. And for this, for this package, I will simply import everything. I will go ahead and do the same with the two other asset package that I want to import. Okay, so I finished importing my three asset package, and now if you open these, you can see that you have a lot of stuff in there. Um, I have a example scene here that I'm just going to use, uh, well, open, just to see what's going on in there. So this is my mushroom package. It comes out like this and it pretty much just gives me an example scene with uh, pretty much all the assets that we've just imported. So there is like uh, god rays, floor, mushrooms, a bunch of cool stuff that we can use. Let's go ahead and create our own scene, right? So I'm going to go ahead and create a new scene just for testing our new assets and I will use, let's say, uh, da, da, da. I could start by putting streets down just like this does it have a collider I don't think so yeah it doesn't have a collider so we might have to fix this later on if we want to use it but these are all assets that I just imported and as you can see this is a modular street package so I can pretty much use it to make any kind of road basically and then let's go ahead and open up the ground texture package see what's going on in there so it gives you a lot of option here so I have ground grass dead leaves and to test it out I'll go ahead and create myself a new Terran okay I'm gonna put some texture in there so edit texture add and I will simply pick what it gives me here so this is the first one it also has a normal that's pretty good and I have flooring now. Let's use another one just for testing purposes. Uh, let's go with grass. Say this one is green. Like 
this. And let's paint this out now. Nice. So with assets you can pretty much kickstart your game and just get started with something uh, visual that you can prototype with. Um, I went ahead and I created some kind of uh, little, I guess, scene that you can call it. And uh, that pretty much makes no sense, but as you can see, we got started fairly quick using free assets from the asset store. So say you're about to start coding in a game or start working on a game, you can go ahead and uh, download some free assets of the asset store and get prototyping real quickly. So that's about it for the importing assets, guys. Thanks for watching, and I will see you next time.